Well, we're trying something new today. MGTOW, who apparently this guy thinks that women are inferior to men. Yeah, it's essentially the mirror of a feminist. I'm also going to apologize ahead of time, this body is running low on fuel and it's essentially like recording when you're exhausted. If I start getting slow, rumbly, there's the problem. As soon as this is uploaded, I'm shutting down. What does a woman really want from a man? Let's all discard the notion of love for a moment. For love is but an invention. What love actually is, is a hormonal mixture of testosterone and estrogen in the human body, leading to the emotion known as love. What it can more accurately be called is an extreme attraction to personality and persona, also physical as well. Let us see the truth without any biases. If love is not present, what does a woman want from a man? Removing hormonal levels and leaving behind only animal instincts, I'd say to continue the species and survive, but that's just from my observations. Being the weaker sex, smaller brain, incapable of problem solving and analytical thinking. I believe Every military and police woman in the world would like to have a word with you, mister. How do you think a woman would survive alone in the wild? You ever see an angry bitch with a shotgun? I say they do pretty well on their own. The answer is, woman wants a man's utility and resources first and foremost. This is with the assumption you removed human emotions from the equation, which plays a huge part in everything human. You're an emotionally driven animal. I mean, I don't know if you're a human, you actually use a machine voice like I used to use, but same sentiment replies here. And we'll trade sex to get these resources. Analyzing both sides, it actually seems like a fair trade. One side gets sex, the other one gets the income, but it's not the only thing they're getting out of it either side. There's also physical and emotional support. There's a fallback in case something happens, such as injury or danger. And there's also a family behind to support and assist where needed. And this is with the assumption that the marriage actually works rather than failing. Sometimes only the idea of possible sex with the man, just to keep the man doing favors for the woman. Isn't that all humans? Everyone wants to profit from everything they can. It's kind of what a capitalist society builds, and it's not a bad thing. You do a favor, you get paid. You get a favor, you pay. Here is a clear example of a Tinder user, which uses her dates, and makes them her handyman. You're not talking about the Titanic, are ya? Are ya? Dating the guys, I'm using them to do handy things. Oh, thank goodness you're not. Okay, carry on. done many stories on dating in New York City and told you that Tinder is really a necessity to get the dating work done. But I had no idea that it was a way to get your household work done. Either that or Angie's List, which is what I'd recommend. I mean, I found my mechanic who's working on my kneecap right now through that. A woman will always ask herself, what can you do for her? And so, my fellow Americans, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Like a little princess, and you as a slave doing all her bidding. 
I get that the divorce laws are really one-sided, but in such a situation, if you are actually considered a slave, I'm pretty sure the law would be on your side. If I use Tinder and meet guys that I'm not attracted to, but can help me do other things, whether it promote shows, which I have down the street right now, or helping me with something handy around the house, why not? Okay, you find one example of a bitch that doesn't mean all women. And yes, I'm using that one. If comes a time that you are not able to fulfill Her Majesty's needs, you will be replaced. I get the feeling you had a bad experience with a woman, and maybe your dick has something to do with it. I'm just saying. You know, there's no actual connection there initially. Maybe they do all these little things for you, and eventually you're like, Oh, I really like him. Yes, the woman's a bitch, but she actually makes a rather compelling point. I mean, you're not gonna really fall in love with someone immediately, although there are, is evidence to suggest that it takes only about four minutes for a person to convey an attraction of love, quote-unquote. And if you became a great provider in giving her all her needs and is well satisfied, she would then now search for an alpha male for the feels and tingles. Alright, keeping in mind that women are slightly more likely to cheat in a relationship by about 3% if I am recalling that correctly. If you are good in bed, you will most likely be sticking around for a while. You, however, whatever the fuck your name is, seem to be having that trouble there. Because providers do not turn her on. Way to project on every other human. She needs an alpha male to do that, while a beta to provide for her. Doesn't it seem more likely that an alpha would be able to provide and satisfy rather than just being able to satisfy? Beta bucks. Alpha fucks. Seem really sweet. What are you doing this weekend? I actually need some few things taken care of. Primarily my door needs fixing. What do you think? Wanna come over? And but then how do you let them know but there'll be no exchange of because you know. it's a first time, it's a first date. Guys should never ever even assume or think that they're gonna get some There is no notion of love in a female mind. Biology says otherwise. You can see in all romance films that the story always has a male lead that would do anything for the girl. You're using a really bad example there. The woman is in tears and hates herself for moving on. While the girl just waits for something to happen and always the recipient of affection. Are we watching the same movie here? I've seen Titanic. You have not, apparently. Women always say they want romance. And wants a romantic man. What they mean is they are not romantic themselves. Romance, derived from the word Romanicus, Latin for made in Rome. Now, using that in mind, I don't think you understand that the term romance nowadays means fantasy, fiction, made up. But the recipient of romance, while the guy do all the romantic stuff, Romance is subjective. You can see something as romantic, or that she will see as deplorable. Does that look okay? Mm. Hmm? Something's missing. Well, nothing else is going to fit into this dress, I'll yeah. tell you that. Maybe something in this box. I don't want you to get too excited. It's only on loan. They really let you borrow this from the jewelry store? I'm a very good customer. If you were going to buy this, how much would it cost? A quarter of a million. <laughs> a quarter of a million dollars. Their entire idea of love and romance is about receiving. So for a woman, love is knowing what you can give her, what you can offer for her. And that's what they really want. 
Every deal has its perks, but you can't throw your own problems in bed onto the fault of every woman out there, for the love of all. But that's just my opinion. If you like it or not, you can comment down below, you can find me on Twitter at OdysseusPC, or you can email me at hal 9000000 all written out aside from the zeros. But if you don't like it, that's your problem. I'm just giving you the cold, hard facts.